Now we'll find out the binomial distribution using Microsoft Excel. First, we'll try to understand some concepts over here. So binomial distribution is given by probability of x is equal to r is equal to n c r p raised to r 1 minus p raised to n minus r where r is the number of success n is the number of trial p is the probability of success of each trial now suppose we are having the total number of trials as n is equal to 10 number of successes out of these 10 trials are equal to 6 and probability of success of each trial is 0 0.5 and suppose we have to find out the probability of x less than or equal to 6 that is probability of at most 6 or you can say that cumulative distribution function and suppose we want to find out also probability of exactly x is equal to x is equal to 6 that is nothing but probability mass function then probability of x less than or equal to 6 can be written as probability of x is equal to 0 plus x is equal to 1 plus x is equal to 3 plus probability of x is equal to 4 plus probability of x is equal to 5 plus probability of x is equal to 6 or we can find out it by using if you subtract 1 minus probability of x is equal to 7 plus probability of x is equal to 8 plus probability of x is equal to 9 plus probability of x is equal to 10 then also we will get the same answer now we have to find out the values of probabilities at x is equal to 7 at x is equal to 8 that is value of r this value of r is nothing but 7 over here similarly 8 9 and 10 will be the values of r successes now we know that probability of x is equal to r is nothing but n c r p raised to r 1 minus p raised to n minus r suppose number of successes r is equal to 7 and number of trials n is equal to 10 then it is 10 c 7 in place of probability p of success of each trial it is 0 0.5 so 0 0.5 raised to r that is 7 1 minus 0 0.5 raised to 10 minus 7 that value will be 0 0.1171 similarly we can find out the probability at x is equal to 8, 9 and 10. We can substitute these values over here in this formula. So all these values are substituted over here and we will get the value that is probability of at most 6 or probability of x less than or equal to 6 is given by 0 0.828. Similarly, our second part is that we have to find out simply probability at x is equal to 6. Put r is equal to 6 and you will get the required answer that is 0 0.2050 for binomial distribution. Now first value that we have to input over here is the number of successes in trials and that value is 6. The another value is trials, total number of trials, that value in our case is 10. This particular value is the success in each trial and that is nothing but value of p, small p and that is 0 0.5 in our case. Now if we want to find out the cumulative distribution function, that is probability of x less than or equal to 6, then we have to substitute true over here or if we want to find out just value of what we can say probability mass function then we have to substitute false over here and so that we will get the probability mass function that is probability of x is equal to 6. So let us substitute all these values. Now suppose we want to find out the cumulative value that is probability of x less than or equal to 6 then this is the value that we have already calculated by using our formula. Suppose we substitute false over here then we will get exactly the value of probability of x is equal to 6. So this is the required value that we have already calculated by using our formula. So in this